，没有空。Hey, bro! Check it out. Letter from Princess Peach for a few. Don't know why, why Luigi's got that voice, but he does. I just read it to you. How's that sound? Because Mario apparently can't read. Okay. <laughs> Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come from Princess Peach. Very nice. So Princess Peach has gone on a little adventure on her own, really, hasn't she? What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here. With well, she wasn't just going to say that and then not attach the map, was she? But anyway... So Mario, apparently you can't read, but you can look at the pretty pictures and shapes that are on the map. And now we're in the high seas with a well-drawn sun in the background. Obviously because this is Paper Mario, then there's lots of paper themes going on, drawings and stuff like that, so... And it's a really great game. Re originally... Originally? Not originally released in 2004. I played it a long time ago and it was one of my favourite games then, and it still is, if I'm honest. And because it's paper, it's about books and stuff, and this is the prologue. A rogue's welcome. I have to read that slowly because it, the page appeared slowly. Kind of. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come to view. So it looks like we're on the boat and we can see Roport coming into view. Doesn't it just look wondrous? Nah, not really. Yeah, it looks okay. It's a nice coastal town. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. See the waves bobbing up and down. And here we are. Well, now here we are. Let me look at this boat. What is this? It's very colourful. I wouldn't really see that, you know, in real life. IRL. I must apologise, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Ruff Rever, I can't speak today. Are you quite sure you want to disembark it? I did tell you the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? <laughs> and he doesn't believe us because, I mean, what kind of princess would be waiting in a town like this? In Rogueport, full of rogues. Not princesses. It's not called Princess Port. And here we are. Mario himself. Got a hammer, press B, jump with A. Here's a save block, you can obviously just use them to save when you want to. Let's talk to the locals. What do you want, pal? Huh? Princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. Uh, owe you money or is your girlfriend? Uh, kind of. Kind of. We're working on that. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Sounds like someone's in distress. Sounds like a girl goomba, kind of. Oh, come off, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for me to measure my crystals. Crystal stars, I hear you talk about, eh? Nah, I'm doing the asking. She wants to... Well, he wants to interrogate her. He looks pretty evil, with like a big X on his chest. Maybe it's from the X Factor, maybe it's Simon Cowell, I don't know. I don't have anything to say to you. Yes, you don't. Untimely demise, this guy, is, this guy sounds serious. Taking this firebrand to a fortress. So it looks like he's about to kidnap her or something. This is pretty serious. I mean, not a very warm welcome in Rupo, is it? Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream! You should get out a rape whistle or something. <laughs> like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics. Oh, pretty tough words. Smelly lunatics. What do you think you're doing, chump? Think you can screw up my plans? Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. Crumper bomb? Who is this guy? He's pretty creepy. But he wears a cool helmet. He looks like he's from, from Team Fortress 2 or something. Like a hat. Battle time, Mr. Man. That is our name. Please find a way to beat this Freak of the Week. Freak of the Week. That could be a new video series for me. Um, let's just jump on him. So, if you press A before jumping on him, he'll do double damage, which is nice. Sweet, you know that hurt. i got to say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. 
And you can dodge attacks by pressing A just as they jump on you. And, you know, so basically, so they're called action commands, basically. So that's an offensive action command, and that other one was a defensive action command. And I don't know if you see this, it said keep wailing on him, but it's spelled wailing, W-H-A-L-I-N-G. And I don't know what that's meant to mean. In fact, I'll try out the hammer. I mean, like, wailing in that spelling is kind of like, you know, killing whales for their blubber. You did it, you did it. You got star points. Yes, we got, I think, nine, was that? I bet you know, but you get these things with star points when you win battles. Yes, and basically, yeah, you get to 100, you go up a level. Currently, we're on level 1, because that's how everything starts in every game. Like every RPG, anyway. Buh. Buh, 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 buh. Okay, you've got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh god, look at all these. We're heavily outnumbered. Heavily, heavily outnumbered. Punish him. Whoa. This is pretty crazy. What do we do? Well, we could just walk out like goombs over here is doing. Quick, this way. Yeah, see? We got so caught up in fire and they couldn't even find us. Let's just sneak out of here. Let's do that. Just go up these stairs. Ignore them. Get through here. I don't know what he's talking about. He's pretty crazy. Stop a purr. He's got a bit of stutter as well. King's speech much. What's he looking around for? Where'd they go? You Johnson. So you pick. You have to. You could pick any one of them to say the name. And you pick the one with the name that sounds like a name for a penis. Okay. Well, done. do you see them? Did anyone? And they're all confused. Ha. You may dress pretty gangster, but you're not very smart, are you? Alright, so here we are in Rogueport Square. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. And her voice has changed. She's now some teenage girls. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. <laughs> University of Goom. So who are you? Wait, you mean like that famous guy, Mario? Yes, Mario. Anyway, no offense, but just like you to run time yourself, right? Yes, we did. I really hated here. She doesn't she doesn't like Rogueport, does she? Very poor, should have expected it, but Jesus Christ. Legendary treasure here. Yes. What, you're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. Don't call me bucko ever again, please. And yes, we've got the legendary map. She's really impressed, isn't she? Oh my gosh, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. We got it from Princess Peach. Great hoogly boogly. Who's this? Ah, it's Toesworth. Bit of a coincidence. And look at look what's going on in the background. Some pionters are beating up some dudes. Bit of a coincidence bumping into an, one another. So, Toadsworth probably came with Peach. So where's Peach, Toadsworth? He's actually remembers why we came here. It's because Peach sent us a letter. She told you she'd meet her in Rogueport. Intriguing. So where is she? Where is she? I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to require a spot of fuel, fuel, fuel for a ship. I only took my life for one moment. She vanished. She vanished. She vanished. That's not very good. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily, but she didn't, did she? Well, you kind of expected it because it's a Mario game, and Princess Peach always goes missing or gets kidnapped or whatever. It's kind of standard, but you know, let's just act surprised anyway. But I'm feeling better with you here, Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I'll leave this text to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn. So he's just going to get sin in the inn while we do all the work. Anyway, so yeah, the inn, basically you can restore your HP there, I suppose to be what he's saying. Actually sounds a bit rough. Yes, it is. But I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. Princess Peach, did he mean the Peach Princess in the Shroom Kingdom? Yes, he did mean her. The Princess was gets nabbed by Bowser. Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you the dream? Yes, we already told you that. This is really intense. Where could she have gone? Maybe she just went to the inn, get a spot of tea, like Toadsworth is doing. Maybe she went to find the treasure on her own. That's a good good question. Good point there, Goombella. I know, come with me. One of my professors here will show him your map. We'll start looking for treasure, and then maybe we'll catch up Princess Peach. She has a good point. Let's go, Mario. Unintentional pun. And Goombella joined our party, yes. This game, like many RPGs, does have like a party system. You get quite a few members to join your party. Goombell is the first. It's actually one of the best, I think. Press X to get information about nearby people, places and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. Yes, you get it. It's a crossroads many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Like Slim Shady. No, no. Anytime you press X, when there's no one around. No, when there's... Yeah, 
when there's no one around. I'm pretty sure you can do it any time though, really. So you can do it about people, so you can find out about them. He's always complaining, Goomther. If you press X when there's somebody near... Oh, I see what you mean. When he's not standing next to someone, she'll talk about the place, and when you're standing next to someone, she'll talk about that person. Or Goomba or whatever. It, technically, they're not people, are they? She'll give you hints. And, of course, Goomba can be quite helpful in Battle 2. She has Head Bonk, which is basically the same as Mario's Jump. And she used Tattle, which basically just gives you information about the enemy, and it'll make it so it'll show how much HP an enemy's got whenever you fight them again. So that's nice. So it's usually good to Tattle whenever you meet a new enemy. Thing is, since I did the time server, I don't actually know where he lives. Professor Frankly. So he's got googly eyes and bushy hair. Could be anyone in this place. Okay, if you go over here, star piece. Star pieces, you're going to want to collect them for reasons that will become obvious later. Um, there's another one over here in kind of this back alley, which is pretty, pretty scary. Well, not, not really, we know what we're doing. We just came in here to get the star piece behind this mattress. Would not want to sleep on that mattress, just saying. And there's another one. If I go over here and into the inn, I could say, say hi to Toesworth and call him a lazy bum because he is. Who's this guy? Ah, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings his most jovially. Who are you? He's Flavio, the richest man in Brewport. He looks pretty cool, I guess. He looks pretty rich with that massive diamond or whatever it was. Or ruby. It wasn't really a diamond. That's Toesworth. What are you doing here? We already know what you're doing. And he's just going to talk about the princess. Screw you, Toadsworth, you lazy arse. Anyway, let's go over here. Jump on the roof if you go down somewhere over here. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, there it is. There's a star piece. I knew it was around there somewhere. So we've already got three star pieces. I think there's 100 in the game. There might be more, actually. But anyway, we're going to want to go over here because we need to find Professor Frankly and spoilers is over here. Hey, by the way, Mary, have you saved yet? Yeah, I'll do it when I want to. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, yeah. Whoa. Oops, pardon me, sir. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Well, that wasn't very nice, was he? Was it, I guess. Mary, you gotta wake up that guy to show half your car, you gorilla. So we already had 100 coins, which is nice. Coins are obviously just the currency of Mario games. So anyway, we need to run after him. Unfortunately, we can't run, so we're just gonna walk. Just stroll after him, I guess. Spoilers, he goes around here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he does. In fact, I think he's in, yeah, he's in the little house where we got that star piece behind the mattress. Here he is. Yeah, have a taste of my hammer. Eops. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. Oh, buddy, oh, pal. Fine, you got me. I'll give you a coin back. And we got our oh, 50 coins back. That's very nice. Back to 100. So I should show other parts of Rogueport first before going to see Professor Frankly. I kind of got a bit of head ahead of myself. Here is the shop where you can just buy stuff such as mushrooms, branch HP, honey syrup. We'll get into what these items do later, I guess. And have you seen the? I mean, look at these toads. I mean, that is the face they're doing. I'm sorry, that is just what they're doing. Anyway, here's a notice board where you can find information. And hey, Pickpocket is trying to get caught, so he's giving advice to Pickpocket, it's not very good. And here's a graffiti corner. I just saw this princess or something. Talking about Princess Peach, obviously. So she was here, we know that much. If you go in here, it's kind of like some restaurant, but... Well, not really a restaurant, more a kitchen, but I don't know who that is. Freeze! Who's this? You two, not another step. Don't come this way. So over there is West Roadport. Some complete jerk stepped on... No, she dropped her legs or something. Or something like that. No. Yeah, she dropped her contact lens. So if we don't move an inch. But the thing is, you're going to have to move eventually. And as soon as you do, you're going to stand on the contact lens. It's unavoidable. It's not fair, man. No matter where you run, you will step on the contact lens. I told you not to move. Weren't your stupid ears working? Nope. <laughs> they weren't working. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're going to pay for it. Oh, thanks. This woman's a bit grouchy, isn't she? Compensate me. <laughs> no. Fine, that's your plan, then here's mine. She's going to block the gate to West Rayport, so you can't actually get through now. Now, if you go to the shop, maybe they have contact lenses, we'll see. Welcome, yes. Hey, you want a contact lens? Wait a moment. And he's going to talk to his little buddy over there, he's probably in charge of the stock or something, I don't even know. And what's he going to say? Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any. Oh, that's great. 
In special order one right away. Check out the tuna king. So that's kind of a creative way of blocking off an area from you in the game. It's kind of better than just an invisible wall, I guess. But still, we won't be able to access that until later. Not too while, not too long, not for a while, but we'll see. As you look over here, it's a nice little effect with the you know, dimensions. Who's this guy? He looks pretty creepy. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places. Okay. <laughs> not creepy at all. Hey, hey, I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. Somebody start tailing me. So that guy's basically just a criminal and he's gonna bonk us like the scout from Team Fortress. And there is a wizard and he will upgrade your partners when you have shine sprites. But we don't have any, so I'm gonna ignore him for now. If we go in here, oh my god, Professor Franklin. With a lot of books. I mean, I doubt he's even read all of those. There you are, Professor Frankly. Maybe he's just going to host a book burning or something. Who's there? Who wants me? It's Gumbella, your student. How do you not recognize her? Oh, wait, he recognizes a face. Hmm, he's thinking. Goombriel? No. Eliza Goom? It's quite funny that there's all these Goomba names, I guess. Erm. Ah, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? Yes, it's Goombella! It's just me, I'm Goombella, a junior of you, Goom. University Goom. Of course I remember you. Not to do my home, but I'm pretty good at No, you're not. It took you like five tries to do that. And that guy behind you is... It's Mario, obviously. But he doesn't recognise us because he's, he's not with the times. He's just some old guy. I'm such a bookworm. I'm having a clue about what's hip right now. You can really tell he's a bookworm. He's a book Goomba, I guess. We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure set to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew about it, it'd be you. Well, maybe. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Why do you want to know about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale. We'll see about that. Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in these fairy tales, though. She has a good point. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist. I really want to find it. Good point. And well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while well, still others claim it's an empty chest. So there are lots of rumours about this treasure. But one thing you'll agree on, you have to have the crystal stars. And that's kind of the object of the game, to collect the seven crystal stars to open the thousand year door. Hence, Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Indeed the same as the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Yes! So we're going to want to do that. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. And guess what map we have? We do have the magical map. Correct, and the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yeah, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If you only had that map. But we do have it! Oh my god! And on that bombshell, we have the magical map, yeah. It's not really a bombshell. Here we go. Astounding! This is it, the real thing! Oh my god. It's pretty incredible. You son of my hero. Wow, we're already his hero and we've been we've known him for about two minutes. We can find the crystal stars was holding this aloft before the draw. It will show you where the crystal stars are. Well, the first one at least. Then once you got that I want to show you the next one, then we'll that one, the next one, and so on and so forth. And so he wants us to take him to the thousand year door. Bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Well I didn't even know it was there, to be fair. So that's a gate which allows you to go down the pipe, which lets you go to the sewers, which is where the thousand year door is, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Because, I don't know, just time constraints, really. This episode's already been far too long. So I'm going to save, and I'll see you next time. Oh, you're about sorry about not making a video for a while. I basically originally took a week off just to like, prepare for the next LPs, but, well, and then some technical issues arose, and, oh god, it wasn't, it was nasty. Okay, it was nasty. So, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a like and I'll see you next time like I already said about four times. Goodbye.